I'm Lele Savage, and I'm a savage. I'm a boss, I'm a leader, I'm a mom, I'm a CEO. And let me tell you, if there's anything that I know how to do, it's how to get to the money, how to get to the bag. I don't play when it comes to making money. That's the only thing I've ever known how to do, is make money. Oh, savage, yeah, and he's the calm one. The ones that are calm, they're savage. Yeah. It's, it's true, he's, he's, he's like he's savage. He's thinking, he, yeah. you gotta speak every time See, he's, he's He's, I'm like the drunken ninja. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna take action. I'm letting you know I'm gonna fuck all your shit up. I'm gonna fuck your shit up. I'm gonna talk shit. I'm gonna tell you everything, and then I'm gonna execute that shit, and I'm gonna do it just like I fucking said. Webby is more like, I run silent and run deep, ninja. He just gonna Fuck it up, and you ain't even gonna fucking know. And you gonna he sit back and chill. Probably got people to handle that for him. <laughs> <laughs> he got to handle that himself. He can't. Uh, right now, I'm trying to. I, I done fucked it up. I'm not. I, but I'm, I'm fucking up some more if I have to. What up? What up? What up? Where is me? Tell me what you know about me. W e b b i e. And it's up the dumb way on the block TV. Why is this? I'm trying to stay prayed up, man, and get to where I'm going, right? Get to what what yeah. God got going, waiting on me, man. You know. A lot of stuff popping up in the world right now, man. A lot of stuff happening. I got kids down there my age. So you I know got what I'm kids. Saying? You know, but I, you know, because I've been just running out here since I was a kid. I had my first child when I was 15 years old. Are you, you know? serious? Yeah. Oh now my I got God. kids down there my age, but I just had another one. You know, so I think. It was I'm, back in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. What you mean? Oh. This, man? What do you know about <laughs> Savage Life, man? No, what do you know bit, about Savage Life, man? I've been in Zone 3, so I, I've had my little run-ins and done my man. thing. Man. <laughs> but now I grew up, you know. You all know that about Left Savage. Georgia, decided to explore the world, came back here with uh, a different mindset, so. Yeah. Straight up. All right, so, again, the only thing that we really are going to take serious here is going to be these safety rules right here. So we want to treat every single firearm like it's loaded. Uh, whether it's here, whether it's at your house, whether you're looking at brand new guns here. Now. We have loaded guns pointed at us all day long. We have unloaded guns pointed at us all day long. Granted, we don't like having guns pointed at us, which means we're not gonna point guns at you guys. So try to keep the firearms uh, pointed in a safe direction, which brings us to rule number two, which is never point your firearm at anything you don't plan on killing, maiming, or destroying. So I don't plan on killing or maiming or destroying any of you guys. I hope you guys don't plan on killing, maiming, or destroying me or Otto. So we're gonna keep the firearms pointed in a safe direction at all times. When we're on the range, it'll be only down range where that firearm can be facing. Number three, we want to keep our finger off the trigger and out of the trigger guard until we are actually ready to fire. Auto is going to demonstrate right here. We, so. I like to uh, reiterate that we want to keep it high and off the trigger until we're ready to fire. That way, in case we get scared, nervous, anxious, or we fall, our finger doesn't drop down and actually uh, A lot of this trigger. stuff, you, I ain't trying to cut you off. A lot of this stuff you're saying, I already No, I, that's why I told you, I, I ain't even trying to be around no gun. Unless <laughs> I'm really trying to, you know, but I'm. We gonna, she going to play it. She loved guns so much, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she about to go, you know? That's because you had your fun in ghetto stories when you shot three people. Oh, wow. He shot three people <laughs> Look, in ghetto stories. She about, she about to bust, and we about to do that. See, we you riding. can't be ratting on him. We got, we got cameras I mean, out right now. What you doing? He, Look at that. He, he, he was in a movie. He shot on the DL. Camouflage down. Camouflage down. Rest in peace, soldier slip. I'm telling you. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right. And then number four, always be sure of your target and what's beyond it in front of it and around the target. So. That is mainly for home defense and self-defense. So if you ever decide to carry on the street, meaning you have a concealed carry firearm on your person, um, you always want to know what is your target and what's beyond it. So if I have Otto right here and Otto's a bad guy and behind Otto is Little Miss Sally and I go to take my shot at Otto, should I take that shot? Probably not because Little Miss Sally's behind him and bullets do what? They pass through things. So I might need to adjust my point of angle in order to take that shot to avoid Miss Sally behind him. 
I also want to make sure that there's a backstop behind whatever I'm shooting at. So say a wall, uh, a couple trees, a car, something like that. Something that's going to stop or slow down the velocity of my bullet. Um, we want to avoid civilian casualties if we can. We only want to hit whatever is uh, threatening us within that manner. Um, or as you would say, we only want to pop a cap in the right person's ass. We don't want to pop a cap in somebody else's ass. All right. All right. So those are our safety rules. Do you guys have any questions, comments or anything like that? I'm thinking to myself, I don't know how in the hell I'm going to last through this class, but I'm going to hope Webby got this shit covered the dumb way because I just don't know. So uh, before we get into anything else, let's go over a couple of the firearms that we have today. Uh, that Miss Layla has brought for us. So we do have a AR-15 chambered in 5.56. It is a Anderson Arms Manufacturing. Um, so relatively decent beginner gun. Um, the dumb one. Do what? The dumb one. Yes, sir. That's the right. The dumb one. The dumb way. With this firearm, you do need to maintain four points of contact at all times when you're aiming. So we have one point of contact being our hand, the other point of contact being our shoulder, our left hand right here, and then our cheek weld right here, keeping everything nice and still. Um, with this firearm, it's very similar to the AR-15 in the terms of you want the uh, butt of the stock in your shoulder, your hand gripped on the grip like so, so and then to chamber around, I just move that back forward. Now there's a round in the chamber and we can fire. All right. Big Bertha. Oh, now going to I'm one of the other you. guns, we got her favorite gun. This is the gun that she keeps on her, right, Miss Layla? 24-7. 24-7. Yep. It has the laser. It's got blue, so you know she's she's rocking with the Chanel. Mm -hmm. um, so it does yeah. have that laser activated. Just a nice little 38 special, five mm -hmm. shots. Mm -hmm. um, the CMMG Banshee is one of my preferred guns for home defense and self-defense, uh, specifically because of how tight and compact it is. So if I do need to maneuver around that corner, I can without exposing that barrel. Um, she does have the Holosome sight on there, which is a great sight. It is uh, light, act, uh, light activated kind of in a way where it, if, it, if it sees the light, it's gonna increase the brightness. If there's no light on top of it, it's gonna decrease the brightness uh, of um, striker fired firearms for concealed carry. Just it's a safer option, especially if we are carrying appendix style like so. Uh, you don't want anything accidentally going off right there. Um, hurting the family jewels. Uh, it's yeah. already competing with real estate down there, so uh, you want to make sure that everything is um, perfect and safe. And around the pistol grip, and now I have my right thumb on top of my left thumb, mm -hmm. so I have a lot more control. I don't want to see any holding the wrist here. I don't want to see any teacupping, because what's going to happen is that recoil is going to start coming up. When I hit right here and right here, now I'm going to have a lot more control with the firearm, and therefore, I'll be able to actually hit my target a lot at, more accurate. Wow. So if you that guys want to try. That was really good. Are you a cop? Uh, no. Wow. <laughs> it I mean, looks like one, doesn't it? Yeah. That was <laughs> no. like so professional. <laughs> <laughs> no, firearms instructor in the Navy. Okay, I mean, that was good. Okay. So remember, finger high and off the trigger, right? Okay. So finger high and off the trigger. So that right there. Remember, round is round. Right there. And now we're starting to teacup, right? So may I gra tag grab your hands for a second? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to remember, this is our, so are we left-handed or right-handed? I'm left-handed. Oh, oh, great. So in the firearms <laughs> community, we're wrong-handed, but that's fine. We'll, oh we'll my work God, with that. Just say that. So, so, good. And now we're going to work yeah. this up here, and we're going to take oh, this. I'm trying to chase the gun. So I don't know how you going to like keep touching on my girl like that, man. It's for safety <laughs> reasons, all right? Yeah. So take this thumb up and put it right here, and now take this hand and Pretty much knife hand it here. I look deep in the safety around that mom. <laughs> there we go. Even with the blue guns, we're see safe. How, see how it's really, yeah. really comfortable now? You feel mm -hmm. a lot tighter on the grip. You're going to have a lot more control with that firearm. And remember, at the end of the day, these are tools. Our tools are only as good as we can use them. Gotcha. All right. Webby, you want to try? Yeah, uh, he, no, you, right. you're going to try. No, you're going to try. Oh he's trying to take my girl away from me, man. Right, right, in, front my, right in front of my face, I'll man. I'll touch your hands, too. That's ah. right. Oh, no. Most <laughs> definitely listen, not. Listen, I don't think that's Jason Derulo. I don't think that's Mr. Steal Your Girl, so I think you're uh, good. Plus, uh, if look, he's kind of retarded. So you I'm Mr. Right. Steal, I'm Mr. <laughs> Steal Your Girl, too. So I don't know. I don't know. So if it's this girl, I'd be stolen from him. If my girl, he'd be stolen from me. She's All just right. a girl. Well, let's we'll try see. this one. Here, I'll give you the orange one. That way, you're, you're using a different one. 
So put that in your right hand. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Why y'all not understanding what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm coming. I told you. Better go shoot. I don't like touching guns unless I'm really. It, it's just something I grew up on. It's something. I'm, 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 I'm going to say it, man. I got friends. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah, I don't need to get off of all that. All right. You know, so the main... Shout out to all my, my dots. Talk to my homeboy last night, man. I just got, you get life in jail. You know, got a lot of people out there. Shout out to, I ain't going to get into all that. Anyway, I ain't feel like shooting a gun because I ain't, I ain't shoot a gun in a long time, man. I ain't going to sit here and play like a, oh, we got that iron. We rolling around. We deep. We got them guns. You know, I, I ain't been around that in a minute. You know what I'm talking about? So, I pray all the time. I talk to God, you know. I, I shoot that, shoot that. But I, I just said, I don't think it. But you know, let's, let's talk about something else, man. God is too good to be talking about a gun, man. Praise the Lord. To a full extension, our shoulders and hip are square to the target, and my head is up. The reason I want my head up, it's kind of like when you're selling something. You want to present yourself to the world, right? If I'm talking to you like this, do I look very confident? No. If I'm talking to you like this, do I look a little bit more confident? Yes. So I want my head up when I do that, which is what he is doing incorrectly. Notice his head is kind of ducked down into there. That's what we call turtling. He looks like a little turtle. Uh, if you've ever seen that one movie, um, what's the one movie I'm talking about where the guy goes, he puts his head over, it, he's in the little turtle costume, he goes, turtle, turtle, turtle. Master of Disguise, thank you. <laughs> See, that's my man right Look at there. That. That's my man right Look there. That. So, like the Master of Disguise, right? We don't want to turtle, we want our head up. We want to present ourselves to that target and we want to come out just like so. Does that stance make sense to both of you guys? Yes. Awesome. They're so, what they, so, I trying to cut y'all. So what they call it when they just come like this? When I said I wasn't going to touch this. So this is, this is, this is, um, this is, no, the, the, the play gun. So what, the, what stance is this talking about? This is When they come, just come out like this here with it. Yeah, so, what's that called? Fun story, actually. So that's actually, so, that actually was created by SWAT team. So, uh, you, just saying, you got a bus, I grew up, you know, people go to, and, and shoot like this, you know? Shit, man, we, I know middle school, they was ducking behind the cup, you know what I'm saying? Just, just being cool sometimes, you see, and put that gun to the side, you know what I'm saying? You know, you see a, po a police or whatever, and you do it right. But see, that's just a part of the thing, how people wear their pants low to the ground and all that. It's just life. This is life, and I ain't nothing special about it. You know what I'm saying? You can hold your gun however you want to hold that motherfucker, bitch. Just don't be in front of that bullet. That's <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's get it. It's a really funny story. So SWAT team, the first thing would happen is the, you'd have the riot shield guy coming up. He'd be in front of the first preacher. Well, it's hard to hold your gun like this while you're squatted down, trying not to take bullets. So what they did is they made the riot shield guy, the guy who had the bulletproof shield, turn his gun to the side, and they actually mounted the iron sights on the side so he could see exactly where he is aiming. Well, a lot of the guys who were breaking laws and stuff, that was the first thing they saw when SWAT team came. So that's what they thought, that's how they had to shoot. Wow. So, yeah, I, thought they, I thought they were trying to make sure they were trying to hope them. There's always a story, there's always a story for something. That's interesting. Um, we call those people bullet catchers though, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, this is the biggest thing. So, a lot of people when they go to the range, they make one mistake. Otto, what was that one mistake be? step off to the side so he doesn't point that. Bang! Did I hit it? And they turn Did around, it? right? Did I hit it? So they oh. move. Or we call it the prairie dog. Right. Someone go, bang, and they start looking up. Bang, they start looking up. Next thing you know, it turns into bang, and now we've turned into a bad habit. So Aaron has a great story about LAPD. Um, so what happened is when LAPD was training, if, if a bad guy was taking their gun away, they'd have to learn how to wrestle it through. Next thing you know, they give it back to the guy and then they'd wrestle it back. Well, one day, one of these bad guys actually took one of these cops' guns and the, and the cop, he actually grabbed the gun back. The first thing he did once he grabbed the gun back from the bad guy is he gave it back to the bad guy. All right, let's demonstrate. What? So, in other words, so, so He's, so I'm the cop, right? Okay, you're the I've cop. got my gun. We get into a tussle, he's I able steal, to get my gun I from me. his gun. Now he's got my gun. Now, the cop's at gunpoint at this current moment, right? Right. So what the cop does, based on his training, was he was able to take the firearm away, right? So now that he has the firearm back, he handed the gun back to the bad guy. Why would he do that? Exactly. Webby, do you have an answer for that? Why he would do that? Was it a setup? No. <laughs> it wasn't a setup. Nope. It was training. Training. 
So wait, you he hand the the cop. He hand, the cop handed him back the gun. Is that a like a mental personality disorder? Of no, it was a way of training. So the cop had to be Ken Trump. He had to get taken. And, that ain't nothing to me. But he gave and it he back gave, to yeah. him. Why would the That's right. He wanted to do it again. Yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. that ain't nothing. No. So what happened was muscle it's memory. Everything that. that this is right here, these five fundamentals, they're meant to become muscle memory. These are your foundation, the core of shooting. If you learn how to do these, you're going to be an excellent shot. And you're going to be not just accurate, but you're going to be proficient when you shoot. But the cop gave it back to him. So the cop him. gave so it back to him because through. during this training, true. he and his partner would practice. And at the end of practice, they the would cop would hand it back oh. so they could wrestle go out in every and time and again. Wrestle yeah. out. Okay. And then when it came to show time and it actually happened, he went into what's called the going into black, where it's just all muscle memory now. So he did what he was supposed to do, and he immediately gave the gun back because of muscle memory. So that's where we talk about in the follow through. If I turn, thank you. If I turn and I shoot, I start looking up and sitting on my tiptoes and pretty much prairie dog every time I shoot. Now it's turned in from that to I'm shooting on my tiptoes now and I'm not hitting anything and I start building bad habits and becoming worse at shooting. Mm. So that's where that follow comes through of me go bang, bang, bang. Can you nice. just go bang, 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 bang? Sure, you can go bang, 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 but then you're going to see bang, 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 or bang, 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 bang. But at least the motherfucker will know. Yeah, but ammo's expensive. So ammo's if expensive. I'm going to waste my ammo, yeah, I might as well hit something with it. Yeah, but if you got a point to prove or somebody bang, come bang, and try bang, to attack bang. you and shit, like, who Why gives prove a, a point when I could easily just stay alive? So or I could scare your ass and and What's the point of scaring your ass? Like, you ain't going to fuck with me no more. Why would they not? I think I have to be safe about it. I usually go bang, bang, bang. And if anything, you've just showed them what you have. Part. So mm -hmm. then they might go home, update what they got, and come Perfect. back to you. That's Perfect. what I would do. Perfect. You shoot at me and you miss me? Shit, you better leave the country. You better wish you. <laughs> all right, so guys, we are all done with this. We are going to go down to the range. Um, I want Otto to re go over the safety rules before we get going. Uh, that'll give you guys enough time to. It's up. The dumb way. And Aaron does have the me another medical kit there in case anything else happens. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I know everything's straight with that, but you know what I'm saying? That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my me and my thing. I'm trying to tell you what's going on out here in this world. Okay? You don't know what's going on. Okay? Like you don't know what's going on. Not what really was. You know, the government's fucking everybody. They trying yeah. to blame shit on Russia. You know, oh, talking about what? Russia hacked into shit. No, they just trying to make sure everybody Stop. gets the Stop. fucking le electric fucking cars, okay? By 2031, that's the goal. Okay? They fucking with everybody. So, what, we're gonna leave them guard night? Yeah. You gotta be prepared. If you ain't yeah, fucking prepared. People, they don't have shit that's ready to fuck over everything. Let me tell you something. Tell you gotta be prepared, Webby. I am. Okay? Uh -huh. You know, if you don't get prepared, Okay, Goody Mob was trying to tell people back in 1995 with cell therapy, just ain't nobody listening back then, okay? Uh, they specifically said, who's that peeping in my window, pal? Tag my skin with your computer chip. No more fishing for your fish, okay? Okay, they tried to tell you, okay? They was telling us, but when nobody listened. You gotta, you gotta let fucking people know where you stand, okay? You wanna talk some shit? Talk some shit, but make sure your shit is accurate. You're gonna get fucked up. Come knocking at my fucking door with some bullshit. You're gonna get blowed the fuck back if I didn't let you in. If I didn't let you in and put you on that fucking guest list, so, you're gonna have fucking problems. I ain't gonna have no fucking well, problems. Hey, tell exactly. That's like a 4 4. I'm telling you. But Webby, you need to get, let me tell you something, Webby. That's the problem. Ain't nobody handled you. You need to be fucking handled. You need to shoot a gun, okay? Yeah. You did it in ghetto yeah. stories. You did it in ghetto hey, stories. Hey, say, big bro. Yo, what's it not? What's, yes, sir. What's this Aaron, deal, bro? That's Aaron. Aaron, Aaron my friend. Which one? One at the very bottom? Yeah. It is a 44 Magnum. I told you 44. Yeah. I told you 44. That's the one that Tupac says. My 4-4, make sure all y'all kids don't grow. So we do our job. Oh, you think you the mob? We the motherfucking mob.
thug life riders from west side till we die. Till we die. <laughs> Out here in California, we warn you, we'll bomb on you motherfuckers. We do our job. Oh, you think you the mob? We the, we the motherfuckers. Motherfucker. I'm surprised you know that. <laughs> Ain't number that killers little, little in little real. speech you gave right yeah. here. That was phenomenal. Our shits go triple and four quadruple. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I had a good one. You the one that was in the damn movie. You was the one that killed three people in the damn movie. Not me. I got you, man. You said. Webby, you need a fucking shoe. Like, that's the problem, Webby. Like, you, 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 everybody lets you Ready do what you want. Start? Sometimes you gotta get a little uncomfortable. So this is when the fun starts. Trust me. You need, you need to get a little uncomfortable. Sending prayers and blessings to all the people that's going through something right now around the world. This like, they say this been the worst year ever. I don't know, cause I wasn't here back in the, in the, in the beginning of time. You know, but it's been hard. So shout out to everybody that's making it through that and everybody gonna make it. If we keep going with it, we gonna be good. You still gonna be hitting the red with the X every time. The way you been talking. See, you probably hit the red with that shit. Let's see. I don't even hit the hole from the wall. Let's go. No, let's see what you're going to uh -uh. do. Look out. No, uh-uh. You've been talking about You the that. professional. You, 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 was in, you was in movies. No, no I see. You was in no. movies and I shot said, people. I'm going to tell you again. Let me clear that up. In certain situations, it'll turn you to a motherfucking professional gun shooter. Mm. And you better believe that. Shout out to the real. And a lot of shout out to everybody that's saying, he ain't lying. <laughs> W-E-B-B-I-E. L-A-Y, L-A-Y. There you go. All right, guys, so we're going to start with pistols. We're going to start with one round apiece, just so I can make sure that you guys kind of understood what I was talking about in there. And then we're going to kind of go, go through a couple different drills, switch over to the rifles, then go into the shotgun, and then to do the finale, I'm going to have you guys shoot the fully automatic M16. So get to have a little Scarface action. Mm -hmm. well. All right, so who wants to go first? Webby. No, let's go. Let's no, see. Webby, you're we, the man. You're supposed we, 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 to go now, first. Now we wait to leave. Ladies first. No, you're supposed to go oh, first. Yeah. You're the on, professional. We wait. You know, he's always not. putting everything on me. <laughs> you know what? He's always <laughs> do doing this. You hey, know, well, he's a respectful man. Ladies always making go first. Me rap. Ladies always, always go first. making me uncomfortable <laughs> and shit. That shit ain't cute, <laughs> Webby. Let me tell you something. That shit ain't cute, okay? Save and I don't fall in line. I don't fall in line for nobody, okay? All right? Think about all the bosses and shit. You say they talking shit about on Instagram, whatever that is. I'm telling you. And look at them. Okay, those are them hoes that were fucking, that's fucking threatening no, me because right of down. you, okay? That's them right there. All right? I think that's Keisha. All right, yeah, we're good. I was so confused. I'm like, what in the world is going on? Webby, Savage Life, like, I watched Ghetto Stories, you shot three people. I'm not understanding why you're not feeling it. You knew what we were here for. You knew we were coming to shoot some guns, but you know, I was totally blindsided and confused, but he ended up doing it. Uh, what is she talking let's about? Go. Let's shoot the gun. All right. Let's shoot the gun. I'm telling you, Webby, I ain't the one. All right. Let's shoot the gun. All right. You Flat gonna back problems. in the board. You gonna be rapping that song, problems. I'm very problems. You know, problems. <laughs> Come on, shoot the gun. Yeah. And then we're gonna load and make ready, right? Okay. So, whenever you're ready, put the magazine in. Gangster side. Slide it back. And get to our nice, our nice stance, our nice form. Okay, wait, is this the one where I do it SWAT style? Yeah, SWAT style. Okay. Don't shoot it SWAT style, just load oh, it SWAT just style. Load it SWAT style, okay. Wait, so let's go this way. Yep, there we I'm go. Left-handed. Yep, and remember, keep that finger off the trigger, right? Oh. You don't want it to randomly go off. There we go. All and right. What do I do? Push it back? Yep, pull it back. Just like that. All right, now we're hot and ready to go, right? So we're gonna get a nice grip. Remember, keep a nice high grip, right? Rounded round, okay, no teacuping. Have this left thumb on top of your right thumb, right there, right? So now remember, hips back, butt out. There we go. Keep your head nice and tall, right? Just like when we present ourselves, we like to be nice and tall and slowly, slowly, slowly pull that trigger, right? Good, all right, now we still have one more in. So remember our follow through, right? Okay. 
One more round. Same thing. All right, so we have a little bit of trigger anticipation, right? Okay. Also, we had our hands, look where our hands are, right? Remember, keep our finger off that trigger once we're, once we're done firing. It's a little low. He's showing out. That was really good. Put it at 10, because no, you have your off. Hey, you, you want me to show up, put a pistol in my hand, you'll see that out. Ah. Uh, that was really good. Let's see if that was this low. Oh, you want me to shoot again? Yeah. Yeah. That I, 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 I thought this was, was the Layla Webby show, not the Aaron show. Yes, All let's eyes let's on you. Turn to the Aaron and Otter show. Let's see. Aaron, I'm calling you if somebody yeah. comes live. Yeah. Hey, it be what it be. Alright. Uh, no. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. There it is. There it is. Ooh. Don't mind. You think he alive? You think he's gonna live? He ain't alive. You think he's gonna live? Now that hit the T box, the cerebral cortex. He's done. He did. All right. So now for the last little go round, let's uh, <coughs> let's do the fully automatic. Yeah. All right. I'm done. Webby. Come on, man. It's your turn, Come man. On, She's man. done. You got to go full auto now. I done worked all damn day. I'm tired. I worked. I cooked. I cleaned. I don't even smell like onion rings. I'm telling you, a bad bitch. That's a bad bitch. All right, let's use the target that hasn't been shot up yet. They didn't shoot these. All right, Webby, come on over here, man. So what there you're going to do, go. this is a heavy, heavy, heavy gun. Uh, we put a whole bunch of weights in here to make sure that the barrel doesn't rise up on you. So you're just going to load the magazine in just like so. You're then going to close the bolt by pushing down right here. That is going to send the bolt forward. And then you are going to do a couple shots on semi. And then you're going to flip it all the way to full auto. And it's going to go and you'll be set. So this is a M16. Yes, sir. Make sure I get it right. Bro. All right. Come on. M16. M16, that's right. I mean, he was straight busting it on an M16. I'm like, whoa, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Somebody gonna fuck around and find out. Don't know who, but I'm telling you right now, I would not wanna piss off Webby, Sweet Jones Jr. Never, ever don't wanna cross that line. You will fuck around and find out. Good. Oh, we all. All right. Find out. Do you want another magazine? Oh, no, man. Oh, I don't well, like, I told you, I don't really like fucking with God, man. Let's see you fuck around and find out. All right, oh Miss Layla, this Wait one's going to be heavy. You want to do it? Damn. Go, no, I'm good. I think that just turned me on. Woo. Woo. I need to go home. We all in here. We I need to go home. Oh, my God. That was straight out of a gangster movie right there. The guy was. When I was touching guns, it was real, man. With guns, you was about to go kill somebody, man. I try, I try to kill them. You know, we shooting a movie, or shooting a show, a TV show. But then I had to take it back down. Yeah, I shooting a show, man. Get the damn gun and, and let go. Lay, lay. 
Back to the block, on the block TV, back to the bubble. Give me that motherfucker. We hit the target, we aiming, bitch. Get out, get out. <laughs> the dumb way. I know you getting away. <laughs> he thought he got away. The dumb way. Alrighty. Um, he thought he got away. Guys, did you have fun? Yes, indeed. Yes, Wonderful. Thank yes, you. indeed. Alrighty. Well, let's get you guys all wrapped up and get you on out of here. Thank you so much. That was fun. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Lady TV. W-E-B-B-I-E. L-A-Y. L-A-Y. TV. <laughs> The dumb way. Back to the bubbles. <laughs> w e b b i e l a y l a y.